Hello, I'm Bruce Yaney, and I'm visiting the 7th grade science classes from my old high school. We're doing some demonstrations of air pressure. Now, we're going to start off with some simple examples, but I want to see how many students I can lift using this small shop vac. So, let's get started. Now, if we're looking at atmospheric pressure, it's about 14.7 pounds per square inch. And this is a 15-pound barbell, and the end of it is about one square inch. So, this is the amount of force that's applied to every square inch on every surface. That's a lot of pressure. Several students wanted to feel this for themselves. Okay, you can notice pressure. It's quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Now, that's on just one square inch. You could measure the surface area of your body using newspaper, multiply that by 14.7 pounds per square inch, and you'd come up with somewhere around 30,000 pounds of force being applied against your body by the atmosphere. I can first demonstrate the atmospheric hug with this piece of foam rubber. I'll put the nozzle of the vacuum inside and turn it on. Nothing happens. Now let's try that again, this time inside a plastic bag. There we go. Now once again, turn it on. With the bag sealed, air pressure inside the bag is slightly reduced. The atmosphere is pushing inward in every direction against that bag surface and causes the foam rubber to slightly collapse. Now let's go try it with some students. All right, so very simply, I want you to hold this bag, okay? But I'm gonna have you hold it from the inside. Step in, girl. Oh, you're doing this thing. Okay. Okay, now, can you kneel down? Okay, this is the vacuum side, so it's reducing the air pressure. I want her to hold this in your hand so it doesn't touch the bag, okay? Oh my God. So she's getting a nice hug. Being inside the bag, you might think it's a lot of pressure because of the large surface area. But using a vacuum gauge, we find the pressure is actually reduced by about two pounds per square inch. You could feel the same amount of pressure change by diving into four feet of water. vacuum pack a suit. Now next up, instead of decreasing the pressure inside the bag, we want to slightly increase it. This is simply a large garbage bag that was sealed with duct tape at the one end, and then a hole was added at the edge to add the air. Now this bag measures 90 centimeters by 142 centimeters. The shop vac isn't made to produce a lot of pressure. It's only exerting about 0.8 pounds per square inch. But even low pressure exerted over a large surface area can produce tremendous amounts of force. In this case, almost 1,600 pounds. Certainly enough to lift a student. Ready? Balance it out. Alright, so let's see if we can lift two people. Now let's see if it works for three people. Oh. Imagine what would happen That's if we had a bigger bag. Oh. Oh. We could get more people. Yeah. Hey, let's go outside. Let's try it. Yeah. Yeah.
I made this airbag out of a tarp and duct tape. It measures 19 feet by seven and a half feet. Even with the low pressure exerted by the shop vac, with such a large surface area, this bag should be able to lift over 16,000 pounds. While we were able to generate plenty of force, I didn't take into account how flexible that bag would be. Well, that didn't work quite as well as I had hoped. So what was our problem? Uh, too many cameras. Everything was way too short. No, they were just... <laughs> Me and Blue got squished. Too much, too much bouncing around? Yeah, kids were just being Can we try and launch somebody? We'll lay it out once again with the seam side down. This time after laying down the bag, I'm going to take three sheets of plywood and lay it on top of it with the ends overlapping. Now it's adding 120 pounds at the beginning, but hopefully it'll make it stable enough that we can lift the whole class. I don't know, we'll see. It, it looks like it's stolen. Oh no! It's filling. It's filling. It's filling. Guys, I'm going backwards here. There it goes. There it goes. What happened? You guys need to lean this way a little bit to try and level it out. Oh, just Yeah, it's so much Oh, damn. We got to go straight leading that way. It's like, it's like a wave. Summer, I'm not holding the wave. Okay. Yep. Okay, you need to lean this way. There you go. <laughs> Too far. Why are you guys so scared? Oh, they're all screaming. Oh, there you go. Alright, is everybody off the ground? Anybody getting seasick? No. Alright, Mrs. Simon, I think we're. Uh, I think we got it. I think we got it. We got this. That is great. Okay, good enough. Are we good? Yep. I love you. Go, go. Oh. With the largest group today, including myself, I would estimate we lifted about 1,900 pounds, just with the pressure put out by this small shop vac. I'm sure we could lift a whole lot more. Well, I think that went well. Uh, in the future, I think we're going to have to try something a little bit heavier. Well, anyway, I want to thank you for watching and hope you'll come back and see me again. Okay, bye.